Hello everyone, in this video we will see the library of the browser. Okay, as we saw in other videos, here in the first icon we have the explorer, here we have the real-time render, and the third is the library. Okay, in Rhino Goal we can click here and open any file directly from here or import. Okay, but this is really really useful because I can define a folder in our computer or in any place, okay, in our network, and define this folder as library. It means that really quick we can have access to all the files of our projects. Okay, in this new version also we have the possibility to see other kind of file formats as videos, for example. If we double click, opens the file, okay, it works with all the kind of files that we have installed. If we select a folder and this folder includes 3DM files, Rhino Gold files or Rhino files, I can see the preview, okay, and also I can drag and drop to import, okay. It's not necessary to go open, okay, and find the path and so on, just I need to drag and drop, okay, and that's it. Also works with any kind of file, remember, for example, if I want to, to open a PowerPoint or a zip file, or okay, just I need to double click, and that's it, okay. Let me show you other thing, for example, if I have a picture, okay, here, I have some sketches, okay, let me show you that, if I double click, okay, opens the default application that we have in Windows, okay, in this case for TIFF I have Photoshop, but for example for JPEG, okay, but one interesting thing is I can drag and drop any image to our document. Okay, and automatically place the picture on the background. Okay, this is this is really really fast because I can drag in any view. Okay, and it's completely different if I drag in the perspective, or if I drag, okay, to the front view. Other interesting thing is we can drag and drop any file, for example. If I drag and drop, automatically recognize all the objects that we have in our document. Okay, it means that I can edit all that I want. Okay, that's great to create libraries. Okay, that's all about library in the browser. Thanks for watching.